Welcome to Brygen. Enjoy the video. We have never had a need for a propane torch of this size or sort before. Anne had never seen one in real life, much less witnessed one in operation before. So we bought this Greenwood propane torch at Harbor Freight and on the way home thought YouTubers might like to witness one in action since we didn't have the chance to before we purchased ours. There's really not much to demonstrate, but after we heard the sound the torch made, we thought a quickie YouTube demo was worth it. The torch is sold with the purpose of burning weeds and melting ice and snow on driveways and sidewalks. It is for use with a 20 pound liquid propane tank and has a push button igniter. This model comes with an instruction manual and a torch with a button igniter. Also there are a couple of wrenches and a nice six and a half feet length of hose to connect to the propane tank. If you look real close, you can see a quick spark when the igniter button is pushed. These are the specifications listed in the manual. There is a note in the manual stating that a tank wrench is not included. The silver wrench that was included fits on this nut and this nut that are on the handle and burner unit. The gold wrench fits the nut on the hose. The manual warns not to use thread seal tape on the hose connector when you connect the hose to the propane tank. Using counterclockwise turns, make sure to tighten the hose onto the tank. Then attach the other end of the hose to the handle and use the gold wrench to tighten the nut counterclockwise. Looking at the gas knob on the handle, you can see the plus and minus to increase and decrease the amount of flame you will have. Now we're ready to take the torch outside and give it a try. Open the valve on the propane tank. You only need to turn the gas knob on the handle to low setting to ignite the flame. Then you can adjust the amount of gas that will be used by turning the gas knob on the handle. Then you get the full effect of the flame when you pull the trigger. There's not much you can use the torch for, but today we're going to be using it on our charcoal grill to burn off some remaining residue that accumulates on the inside and creates a smoke that gives the meat a strange taste when we grill. First though, we'll scrape off some of the thick buildup from the grill and lid. Now for the fun part of burning off the residue in the charcoal grill and underside of the lid. We'll do a quick test on burning a few weeds in the driveway. We have an ongoing series on our YouTube channel where we are running experiments to kill weeds in our driveway. We may consider doing an experiment in the future, testing the practicality of the torch to kill weeds for our YouTube series. Normally the price of the torch is $29.99, but with a 20% off coupon from Harbor Freight, the price was only $23.99 plus tax. We hope this video has been fun Check out our channel for more fun videos and information. Thanks for watching.